And I'm back, man. What's good, YouTube? You know what the fuck it is, man. It's the God himself, the Demonville. Two times. Name sounds so good, you gotta say it two times. And I'm back, man. Sub come right here. Don't forget to hit the like button. And while you're in the motion, hitting the like button. Hit the bell to officially be notified whenever I post. And never, and I mean ever, miss another video from me. Why would you want to miss a video from me, my boy? I'm dumb, you entertaining. No, Cap, you know I got to plug myself in. Follow the links at the bottom of the screen. Without further ado, 2 x the family to mom. Let's get into this banger. So, I can't drive. Yeah, I'm 19 years old, and for 19 consecutive years, that is one right after the motherfucking other. Right after the motherfucking other. I haven't been able to drive. Driving isn't really one of my strongest attributes that I have in my arsenal. I'm not the best driver in person, and quite frankly, I'm not the best driver in video games. Yeah, Forza, I was god awful. Midnight Club, don't even, don't, don't even pass me the sticks, my nigga. GTA, if I'm the getaway driver, yeah, my nigga, we're cooked. Five star, Gordon Ramsay. You fucking donut. I ain't no bitch, chef. I don't give a. The biggest problem isn't even that I don't know how to drive. Or even that I don't have my license, because all of that can be fixed. Right now, the biggest problem is I have to ride public transportation. Yeah, your boy is a bus rider. Your boy is a train getter on. Your, bitch ass, boy. your boy Uber everywhere. And honestly, where I come from, we don't really have the best public transportation system. Y'all yeah, metro is pretty sh to shooting at the bus, to ridiculous delays, and to the most ignorant kids that you'll ever meet. You know how this routine goes. This is Vil2x. I can't drive. I hate public transportation rent. Number one, waiting for the bus. So recently, your boy just started working his new job. I work at Chipotle. Yeah, Mr. Wrap them burritos. So unfortunately, I have to take the bus to my job. And the biggest problem about that is wait times. See, where I come from, the bus is either under 10 minutes away or it's over 20. It's never no in-betweens. It's like you're going to have to wait a couple of minutes or my boy, get your walking shoes because you're about to have to hike to the next couple of bus stops. Don't let you be waiting at a bus stop at a bad location, my nigga, because if so, you're finished, my nigga. Fatality. Number two, crowded buses. You may ask yourself, what could be worse than waiting for the bus? Oh, my brother, it can get way worse. And quite frankly, it's going to get way worse. And what worser can it get than a crowded bus? A crowded bus is always so... <coughs> it either starts off as you get on the bus and it's not crowded, and then it slowly proceeds to get crowded when you get on and it's already crowded. And fun fact, where I come from, if the bus is too crowded, the bus driver will drive right past you. Matter of fact, matter of fact, the bus driver might drive past you just to drive past you just because he doesn't want to stop. On crowded buses, you might find some of the most peculiar mom that you've ever met. You might find on one side, a homeless nigga that smells like every beer under the sun and you might look over and see a white person what are you doing here buddy i think you're in the wrong neck of the woods my boy <laughs> number three someone weird sitting next to you there's nothing worse than having a weird nigga sitting next to you on the bus uh, a nigga that got whoops out his game boy or something a nigga that that is just just, just I don't know, breathes in your ear or some shit. Like, it'd be some weird <laughs> niggas on the bus, bro. The Metro in DC brings out some of the weirdest niggas you will ever see. Like, you would dead ass see a nigga fully dressed in a Naruto jumpsuit sitting right next to you with the ninja headband and everything. Rossana! Like, little weird little nigga, bro. And that brings us to number four ignorant kids. Okay, now, now, hold on. Friendly fire here. So I'm not gonna lie, I definitely was an ignorant kid on the bus at one point in my life. But I always had standards, you feel me? Like, I wouldn't go drastic. Like these little niggas these days, they be going over the top. You little niggas to be like nine years old, you is hearing some of the most craziest things come out of their mouth, bro. Watch your profanity. In this generation, these little niggas is super, super weird. It was a trend to be on the bus and, and moan that little Chupapi Munyanyo dumbass shit. And it was it was so many TikToks about that shit. And I'm just looking at it like, hey, you little niggas is different. You 
niggas is weird, bro. The little kids be on the bus acting reckless, my boy. I done seen a couple of kids fight older people on the bus. I promise you, they real wicked on this metro in DC. I'm telling you. Number five, having to give your seat up. What am I, Rosa Parks? Hey yo, what the fuck? It's like, come on, bro. What are we doing here? There's a few simple rules when you get on the bus. Give your seat up for disabled people. Give your seat up for old people. Give your seat up for pregnant people. First of all, let's talk about give your seat up for disabled people. It's not really much you can do about that, you feel me? Like if their like, legs are decapitated or something, our buses are different. I don't know if it's like this where y'all are from or any other part of the world or part of America, I guess. Our buses have two sides, obviously. And in the front rows, it's like seats that's separated by two seats behind them and two seats sitting across like a bench. Then four sets of seats can get, go up for people of special need and for people who are handicapped. Old people, I'm not giving my seat up for no old person if they disrespect my nigga. First of all, you 77. You old enough to, to, to be in your retirement plan to get Ubers everywhere, my nigga. Get metro accesses. Why are you taking my seat, bro? Like, come on, my nigga. My legs hurt too, gang. You feel me? And lastly, pregnant people. Bro, fuck a nigga with a car. What are you doing? I gotta give my seat up to you because you didn't make good choices that night. Because you didn't decide to use protection. Because you didn't decide to pop that plan B. Now I gotta get my seat up for you. Next time, get with a nigga who can drive. So, I can't drive. Uh, that, that friendly fire. What's the title of the video, Bill? EP, nigga. Number six, <laughs> paying a ride. Um, I literally can just get past this because I don't pay. Before I get into number six, let me tell you a little sneaky trick. Like, I'm giving up. I'm giving up free game. I'm giving up sauce. Listen, listen, listen. From Ville to X to you, I'm not the tallest. You feel me? I'm a, I'm, I'm average. I'm, I'm average height. I'm, I'm a, I tell people I'm five seven, maybe five eight on a good day, but low key for I'm probably five 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 six. You feel me? Shout out my short kings. I, did I just did I just expose myself on the internet? Nah, I'm fat. I'm fat ten for real, for real. You just got um switch your eyes a little bit. But listen up. But listen up. But listen up. I put my mask on, right? Because all this right here is going to easily give it away. You feel me? I throw the mask on, right? I throw the ear pods in. I really do be playing music, but it's the point that to block them out type shit. And I just, uh, walk right past. And I always have a book bag on me. So it always looks like I'm a student of some sort. And fun fact, in my city, students ride the bus for free. Yes, sir. I've been using this hack since I've been 18. Come on. Since I graduated high school. Let's be serious here. But you have to pay to ride the bus. Really, the only people that pay in my city is... People who are doing well and not supposed to be riding the metro, white people, and people who are not from here. And I think bus drivers are aware of that, because like, allegedly someone has to pay this shit, you feel me? They make bank off of them, because they know if you're from this city, you're not paying on the bus, right? I promise you. But uh, me personally, I won't be on the bus too much longer, so that won't be much of a problem for a too much longer. Number seven, people playing music on the bus, bro. I mean niggas who be having speakers. Let's take it back old school. It's been a couple of niggas. I seen walk onto that bitch with a boom box. Why do you have a boom box? Matter of fact, if I catch a nigga with a boom box in 2022, I'm uh, sniping the fuck out of him. Cause what are you doing, my nigga? Quick draw, you hear me? Why are you walking around with that fat radio portable station on you, my nigga? Like, put that in the museum, my nigga. Put that in your attic. That shit is an antique, my nigga. My great 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 grandfather had that. Nah, I'm jazzing it. But my father did have one. Great grandfather, too. I'm just saying. But yeah, bro, that shit throwing me off, bro. And some little niggas just be literally playing that shit like these. Like, they really just be playing like these. Like, right in the ear. Like, bro, where your earphones at? Where your earpods at? But yeah, bro, that shit literally pisses me off, bro. I'm pretty sure it pisses off everybody on that bus, too. Especially if you have a fucking speaker, my nigga. I right, once again, friendly fire. There has been a couple of times I've been with the nigga who had the speaker. But I ain't gonna lie, bro. I dissed myself a couple of seats, like, so I can hit the jammers. But it's like, yeah, bro, you playing that heat. But I don't know this nigga, though. That's the type mindset I had type shit. You feel me? Number eight. Homeless junkies. On the Metro bus... You'll find some of the most dirtiest niggas that your eyes has ever manifested in a however long period of time that you've lived, my nigga. And I'm not saying homeless people. I'm not saying just junkies. Homeless junkies. Them niggas be having some of the most foulest smells that your nose can ever manifest out of your nostrils, my nigga. I'ma keep it a bean with you, bro. I have seen some of the most highest people of my life on the bus. Number nine. I like how number nine is just so simple and straight to the point. It's dirty, bro. Like, 
the bus is so f dirty, fool. Like, ugh, shivery timbers. That is disgusting, my nigga. Why am I here? <laughs> you be in your head like, what has come to my life? Why am I on this bus? Fucking wait, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. And you look to your left, you see a fat follow my Instagram from 2015 that page probably disabled don't even exist no more you might find a syringe needle on the ground half eaten bag of chips and a condom used I might add on the floor like the metro is so f nasty bro like when you catch a good clean bus you just be amazed by it like you ain't never seen no shit like this like you just stepped in a utopia or some shit what is the worst out of the worst like you think all of the nine things previously I said is the worst of the worst no my boy number 10 is the cherry the ice cream the ice and on the cake nigga the, the goddamn the bacon to the pancakes my boy number 10 bad weather my nigga if you have to get on the bus and it is negative 12 degrees what are you doing are you a staying home b going to work or c calling a uber the same person will call the uber right but no the southeast person they're gonna travel my nigga the dc person they're gonna travel my boy i promise you that in the snow and the rain it could be a goddamn uh, hurricane my brother it could be a tornado chasing that bus they gonna go to work but me personally oh uh, yeah i'm calling out but you thinking about it is that call not worth it is that money worth coming out of your check Fuck yeah it is. It'd be even worse when like you go and you leave out and shit all good and next thing you know, kaboom, it's thunderstorming. You looking up like damn shit, I just stayed home. It's a couple of times I had to go to work and it snowed and I'm like, why you just don't close the store? Who's really coming there in this weather? If you is, you're a dedicated man, my nigga, but it's delivery apps, my boy. It's not that serious. Risk the delivery driver, not your life or my time coming to work. Come on, let's be serious here. But, uh, yeah, bro, that's the end of the video. You feel me? I'm sorry. It's been a long time. I know I've been trying to work on my consistency, right? Right. I promise you, bro, I'm going to really get my shit together and... Videos is really about to be pumping out. Never go see the world if I don't get consistent, goddamn. If you like this video, hit the like button. Hit the sub button. Smash the sub button. Kill the sub button. And hit the bell so you can always know when I post. The party over. You ain't gotta go home. But you can't stay here. But uh, you can watch one of these two videos right here, goddamn. I promise you they're entertaining. 2x me the family tomorrow.